Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair for FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to catch up with the uh, season of 2035-2036 and we finished the winter transfers. I also played ahead a little bit because I've been busy so I haven't had time to, re to record but I kept playing and um, we are going to play Man City next. So let's have a look at the progress so far. We are three matches behind because we've been really busy with all the other competitions. So 41 points. Uh, so we're kind of within range of this playoff zone. Uh, for the competitions then, we are reaching the final against Man City, sorry, Man United, uh, for the Carabao Cup. So that gives us the same sort of uh, access to uh, Europe as we had last year. We also are going to play the fifth round against Sheffield United for the FA Cup. Sheffield are, I believe, yeah, in the Championship rather than the Premiership in United. Um, and then for the Europa League, we actually did really well in the league stage. We don't know the outcome of the um, round of 16 yet because it's still being played out for the knockoffs. So, flick phase. So he came joint first, well, second because uh, of goal difference. So we had four goals to catch up um, to Monaco. And there we go. So we won all of our matches for this. And there we go. Um, ba -ba -ba. Our striker is doing really well. If we go to stats, player overview, I think he's the top goal scorer. Yeah, there we go. By two points. I'm surprised. Alan isn't here. Has he moved? He hasn't moved. He just hasn't played as much, guess. I guess. History. Yeah, he's only played 10 games. Nine goals. How about ours? Nineteen games, fifteen goals. There we go. So that's the difference there. So he was a very good investment. He's been doing quite well. Talking about investments, let's look at the transfers that we managed to secure this season, the second half of the season. We got two new players, and we sold. Well, uh, Emra is out on load. On loan, but yeah, we uh, we lent out or, or sold two players. So first of all, we have Petra. He is our new right side of defense. Uh, previously a Dynamo, and we sold Emmanuel Ayu to Rostko, which is uh, in Russia. There we go. So he's gone back. That's actually a new country for him. He's not been there before. So good luck to him. And we also brought in a new striker, Marcos Leonardo. He's kind of coming up to retirement, but he still has a lot to give, I hope. Uh, and Emra ha wasn't particularly, you know, on form this year. So we decided to loan him out with an option to buy. So hopefully we can get some money from him. We're already making a profit since we got him for free. And that's it. No other changes to the squad. Just as a recap, going through all of the players. Neil um, Nolan, the goalkeeper um, at the moment, jointly with Diego Zupo. They are very uh, split in terms of the amount of playing time that they that they have um, so Nolan's turn to be playing excuse me I've got a sore throat um, then in the right side of the fence additionally to Petra we still have where is he gone Anthony who's going to hopefully join us at the end of the season on a permanent deal Emerson Pereira one of our wide defenders um, and also in that position, we have our experience, Zvelinov, as well. In the center, the same two for a long time, Hiroki and also Linda. 
quite a good pairing. And then on the central defending side, we have Ferman, who we had last year for the wide position. And we also have Cat Calvin Basie. Calvin Basie, by the way, where is he? I can't see him now. There he is. Uh, I think he might retire at the end of the season just because I I'm seeing all these declining. And uh, so I think he hasn't said anything yet, but I think he might be retiring come the end of the season. In the left side, we have Anderson um, and our captain, Stuart Henning. Uh, also retiring this season is uh, Bubakar Kamara, 36, joined us last season. Um, he's still pretty good, but uh, yeah, time to retire. And then also in that position, Jean Gomes, who we got on loan this year. I think there's an option as well to buy. Um, Alejandro Lorenzo. One of the Nugents, uh, he joined us a while back to play on the right side of attack. And the other player in that position, doing quite well this season as well, is uh, Ben Hames, who's currently resting. On the left side, Julio Aguilar, who joined us this season on loan. And one of our star players, Stan Weavers, who we managed to train on that left side, which is great. And then I've, I've spoken already about our two strikers. So that's that's it. We must, of course, check on our um, Nugent, sponsored Nugent, playing for PSG, Robert Zugaj. Uh, this season, 21 appearances, two goals, six assists. Uh, quite a good season, the best season so far for him. Well, you would hope so being in PSG and all that. So that is how Robert is going. Let's... I don't think there's anything else to say. Let's jump into the match. Let me just confirm. Yeah, they still haven't found a site for the stadium. So let's jump into this match with Man City. Just tidying up my notes. Yeah, so we're coming up to the end of the season. We'll have one more match. Sorry, one more episode after that. Uh, before that, before the new season. Uh, I can't imagine next season will be very different. But what I um, am kind of excited for is uh, the prospect of us potentially winning a European title. Obviously, we finished second of that league stage. And now we go to a, to a knockout of 16, um, between 16 teams. But the fact that we came second in that league stage gives us a lot of confidence that we should make it to the final. And um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get a title. That would be nice. And I'd love to go to the Champions Cup next season. But that might be a step a little bit too far. Obviously, we're still going to fight for the FA Cup as well. We're still in that. So all of the competitions are still open to us. I think winning the league will be too far. But maybe with a little bit of luck, we could get to the Champions Cup positions. Um... Yeah, so in other news, in the general world of Football Manager, the game's been delayed till the end of November now. Um, so they're going to invite some of the users to test um, in on-premises uh, in the headquarters later on in September, October, I think. And then it was meant to be the usual timescale would be October, 
middle October to the end of October, um, beginning of November, would be the beta, uh, public beta. And then sort of the first week, second week of November game release. But now it's looking more like the last week of November, which means that the beta test will also come in November probably. So you're looking at November for all the beta testing and the game release. Um, and some um, testing by users at the headquarters in late September or maybe even October. They also said that um, international football will not be playable, so you won't be able to manage a nation, which I I get it. it I mean, not many people do nation saves. I know a few people that manage a nation as they manage a club. I've done that. Um, you've seen it on this series, but I know other people that do it too. And I don't know how I feel about that not coming with a base game because it's a managerial role. So you're not really a football manager if you can't manage international football. That's my opinion, but I guess there was some sort of delay and they decided to focus the efforts on something on something else but yeah I the, to me that is falling short of what a football manager game is um, I could I could have I could do away with other details but I think that is stretching it a bit too far on the, the lack of functionality for the release of the game uh, the other um, change that they said, uh, something that's going to come, not going to come out in the game, is player weight. There's going to be like a basic measure, but not. You won't be able to see the weight, and the, in the background measure, it will be so sort of like a rough thing rather than, you know, weight in kilograms or anything like that. And they gave the reason that women, because they're bringing women players to the game, women's weight fluctuates a lot more than men, um, uh, and I, you know, be, you know, from experience, that is true, my weight fluctuates within the same week, um, you know, I could be the start of the week, um, I don't know, a weight and then and then like two days later I'm like two or three kilos down and then later on in the week I'm back up again it, like, it kind of fluctuates throughout the week just because of the different in biology I guess um, but I don't really see why that is so important I, I don't think that is super super important they could just make the weight fluctuate less, you know what I mean? So, um, it wouldn't be like true to realism. Obviously, women's weight does fluctuate. I'm sure men's weight fluctuates too, but I don't really see why it matters so much. They would have to make it realistically fluctuate. I don't understand why they couldn't just make it fluctuate less in order to for the game to cope with it or whatever the issue seems to be I'm not really sure but um yeah I think it's it's nice to know you know if you if you have a heavy player or a light player um or, or maybe the other way to look at it is maybe it doesn't really make that much of a difference like when do you actually look at your player's weight and when does that actually come into any decisions you make in terms of buying players? Uh, maybe not like the, the weight, precise weight itself, but maybe you're looking for generically for a light player or generically for a heavy player, whatever. Um, and maybe that measure will still be there. You'll still be able to see it, but all, although they... It seems to just suggest from the post that you won't be able to see it at all, at all but the game itself will have a more um, coarse um, spectrum that it tracks. Uh, not as granular as measuring in kilograms or anything like that, but 
more of a rough measure. I don't know. I don't know why it can't be visible because they could. They could. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason why it's really complicated. Maybe it would take too much computational power to fluctuate women's weights um, as per real life, but I'm sure they could make it way smoother, way easier, so that women's weights don't fluctuate as much. And I think at the end of the day, if you're playing this game, you're probably not looking for you know, the, the, the within weak fluctuation of women's weights to make a difference to your game. You probably could do away with it and I probably almost guarantee nobody would notice that, oh, my player's weight has not fluctuated this, this week. Mm. Or the other way around, or like my player's was like three kilos heavier than yesterday for whatever reason. doesn't seem to make a big difference so anyway see that level of detail so, so that is like they're taking away level of detail from the game um, and for them to mention that I wonder what else they're taking away from the game to, in order to compromise even on international managing managing but anyway we lost that game against Man City sorry I rambled a lot throughout that um, I I guess I feel like it doesn't really matter, but I still rambled a lot about that. Um, yeah, so looking forward to the game. Slightly disappointed it's delayed, but it is what it is. You know, things get delayed. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Still looking forward to the end of November when it comes out. But in the meantime, I'll be playing this every week. So um, um, stay tuned and thanks so much for watching to the end. And if you're supporting the channel by um, sponsoring a new gen. Thanks so much as well. Take care. Bye-bye.